I'm Jordan and this is Maddie and we're here in Oaxaca City, Mexico. When most tourists come to Oaxaca, they're generally staying in the central area. Ourselves included, our past two trips. <laughs> uh -huh, but we're actually going to be checking out some other neighborhoods and right now we're in the neighborhood called Xochimilco. We just got to this restaurant called Ancestral that we really love and we wanted to show you today, but there's a 45 minute wait and it's midweek. I don't understand it. All the times we've come here in the past three weeks, I've never seen it this busy. So maybe there's something going on today that we're not aware of, but we're gonna go find another restaurant now. <laughs> maybe exploring Xochimilco, we'll have to wait till later. In some cities across Mexico, everyone will stop for you at a crosswalk. Here in Oaxaca, nobody stops for you. As we're getting closer to Centro though, we're walking by this beautiful aqueduct or one piece that is still left of this aqueduct mm -hmm. because it's no longer functional. This used to be used to bring water from a northern part of the city, San Felipe del Agua, to the center of the city, hence why it's called Aqueducto San Felipe. <laughs> Aqueducto de San Felipe. De the San Felipe. <laughs> and now you can see as we're walking by here, some of these are people's homes. Uh, some yeah, of them are really just cool. streets. So like looking through this one, it's just a street that there's houses, businesses, things like that. I think aqueducts are so pretty. There's something about arches, especially mm -hmm. made out of brick. That's just like, <gasps> but what piece of trash is graffitiing this? It pisses me off so much. <laughs> that aqueduct was actually built in the 1700s and it was functional until about 1940. <laughs> This place is called Mercado La Cosecha and there's all these different vendors around that have these stalls, that, like permanent stalls every day and you can buy tons of delicious food here. So there's lots of great breakfast options. It's a great place to go if you want a lot of typical food and drinks and to be able to sample a variety of them. Uh, voy a querer una memela de tasajo y una de flor, por favor. These were 25 pesos each. It's like a blue corn base, and then they put cheese on it, meat on this one, and this one is a flour. And by flour, I mean like they use actual flowers. <laughs> These mamelas are so good. Hola, buenos días. Voy a querer las garnachas, por favor, sin cebolla. Dos garnachas. Oh, una orden. Una orden. Okay. Uh, de, ¿Cuáles son las carnes? ¿Qué son las garnachas? Sí. Es una tortillita. Ah, oh, no, perdón, no, la carne. O el de cerdo. De cerdo, ok. Pero si no come carne de cerdo, pueden ser papas con rajas. Ah, cerdo. O pollo. Okay. Cerdo, uh, okay. pero sin cebolla. Pero sin cebolla. Ok, ya se las preparo y se las llevo. Gracias. Okay, gracias. And to eat, I decided to get garnachas. I'm obsessed with these. It's an isthmus style of food, and it's like a tiny sope or tiny memela, tiny huarache, tiny what are the other ones? Panucho, uh, but basically a corn base, a fried corn base. It's really crunchy. Then it has meat on top. This is pork, and then a red salsa and this delicious crumbly cheese. On top, you can put this pickled mixture of cabbage and carrots. These were 70 pesos, which the first time we got these, I thought was expensive, but this is actually cheap compared to the other garnachas we found around the city. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that's so crunchy. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Hola, voy a querer un litro de agua fresca, fresa con hierba buena. Claro que sí. Okay. ¿Quieres azúcar? Ah, uh, solo un poquito. Hielo. Ah, uh, un poquito también. Un poquito azúcar y poquito hielo. Sí. Fresa con hierba buena. Exactamente. Gracias. I got this giant agua fresca. It has mint and strawberry, and it was 30 pesos for a liter. It's so good. They use fresh ingredients. You know the crazy thing is. You can drink all of that 
liquid and eat a full meal. This is so much liquid. Well, li liquids don't fill me up at all. I don't get that. I, I can drink as much liquid as I want and it won't be full. I, I don't understand like the anatomy of your stomach and digestive <laughs> system and for me that is totally not the case. To drink, I decided to get this thing called tejate, which is a very typical drink of Oaxaca. It's actually pre-Hispanic, if I'm not mistaken, made with lots of different ingredients. It has this like foamy stuff on top, and they put a little bit of sugar. It kind of has like a chocolatey taste. Gracias. Mm, I love it. And then this size costs 20 pesos, which is slightly more than you would pay at a typical, like a bigger market here in Oaxaca, but it's not, it's not a bad price. Well, that was really good, and I am stuffed. They're pet friendly here, so next time I think we'll have to bring Laska. We need to get a squirrel for Laska. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously, the squirrel's like riding on the back of the dog. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So now that we're hanging out in Oaxaca, I'm able to start making cold brew again and using some of the delicious Oaxacan coffee from around here. Right in between the market and the aqueduct is this cafe called Volador and they'll grind it up for you to whatever specification you want. For cold brew it's coarse so they did that for me and this is 75 pesos for a quarter kilo. Trin, can I take your photo? Please, I would like a photo shoot right here where it says no photo shoots. Oh, okay, fine. How about over here? You rebel you. How about over here? <laughs> you extra rebel you. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here in Oaxaca, it's the end of December, going on January. At nighttime, it ranges from like 40 to 50 degrees, and during the day, it's between 60 to 80, so it can be a little bit difficult to adjust your outfits during the day, but I'm absolutely loving the fact that it's cool at night, we leave the windows open, and I get to bundle up in the morning, but we can be out during the day, enjoying ourselves, and not frying to a crisp, and I'm personally the most excited that it's not humid here at all, or at least I don't feel it. <laughs> Weather is amazing. Maddie, uh, we're in southern Mexico. How can it not be hot here? Um, I'm confused by the question. <laughs> that was a weird question. <laughs> we're at like 6,000 feet of elevation or something, so despite it being in southern Mexico, it's very nice. And despite it being so high in elevation, like we were just in Orizaba, which is lower in elevation than here, but uh -huh. it was freezing, well, <laughs> freezing for us. <laughs> yeah, it was colder than here. Yeah, so that is a little bit confusing, but I absolutely love the weather here. It's where we can go outside and enjoy ourselves, and you don't have to take five showers a day like in the Riviera Maya. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to let you know about a service that we find really useful while abroad, and that is a VPN. And one of the things it does for you is it allows you access to location-restricted content. We can change our location from Mexico to the US or Mexico to the UK. What this helps with is, for example, we were just watching Gossip Girl on Netflix, and it just rolled over to the new year. It's now 2021 today. Poof, Gossip Girl is gone. Super into the show and it's gone. So I activate the VPN, tried going to a few different countries. I tried India, that was the no-go. And then I tried Japan and I found Gossip Girl in Japan. So now we can continue watching the show with a VPN. We're also stoked because we were looking up our other options to watch Gossip Girl and we found it on Amazon for the low, low price of $30 a season. So it would have been $150 to watch the next five seasons there. Or we paid two bucks a month for a VPN. If you want to check it out, our favorite is located at tangerinevpn.com. That's our affiliate link. It will, it will take you right there. There's a really great deal going on for you guys right now. It's 84% off plus four extra months free. So if you want to check that out, head on over to tangerinevpn.com and use the code tangerine.
We're at this place called La Mezcalerita and I'm looking through the menu. Lots of beer, tons of options for mezcal, and they I usually like to order cocktails and they have two options for cocktails, a margarita or a mojito. So I went with the mezcal margarita. And surprise, surprise, garnachas was on the menu, so I got that for the second time today. I'm, I'm literally obsessed with them. Also, we were able to bring mezcal because it's pet friendly up here on their terrace. So, <laughs> Well, these coronachas were decent. Not my favorite of the ones we've tried in Oaxaca, but 75 pesos, so not a bad price. Um, this is a great place to spend an afternoon, though. Like, the sun's been going down. It's a really cool ambiance. It's a second floor terrace, so we've got some nice people watching down there. You see the dogs walk by, my favorite thing. <laughs> I like this place. If you want to see other videos we've made in this city, on the end screen in just a second, we're going to link a playlist of all the ones that we've made in Oaxaca City. Please subscribe to see our upcoming videos of 2021. Wow, it's a new year. But one more thing. <laughs> and gong that bell so you'll be the first to be notified when we release our new videos. And we will see you then.